might be just a little bit too much. Uh -oh. Look at the smoke rolling out of the 51 of Kyle Busch. Power steering again. Now they have problems with power steering in practice, and it looks as though they're going to have the same problem now. Unbelievable turn of events for Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch. Smells like anyway. Caution's uh, out. We're going to have to come. We're going to have to pop the hood. You're going to have to look at everything. They're black flagging Kyle Busch. Huh. I guess the caution isn't out. I thought I saw the lights flicker. We, we heard Kyle say, we're going to have to come. You're going to have to open the hood and look at everything. Kyle is getting the cautions out. There's the caution. Kyle was looking forward. And this could be, obviously, for fuel or fluid on the racetrack. They might be checking to see if there's anything on the track. But a huge break for Kyle because he is going to have to come down pit road. They're going to have to look at that truck. You see Richie Waters right there as crew chief. They had a power steering problem yesterday, we, Ray was talking about. Obviously, Kyle feels as though it's got the same situation right now. NASCAR told him two laps ago, you need to get that truck on the apron. Ray Dunlap. And guys, remember, he had the same problem in his Sprint Cup car at Bristol. So this is possibly three times in a row, a power steering issue. Yesterday, as we looked at the box over, all over, and it did not look like it blew the seal completely off, but somehow the fluid did get out. These guys are going to take a look at it this time. The caution, a lucky break for Kyle, even though he brought it out. This will give them a chance to see if it's something they can repair on that Mikasuki Toyota. You know, the, the, the power steering system doesn't hold all that much fluid. We've seen a lot of smoke. It may be a small drip. Obviously, a little, a little fluid can make a lot of smoke, but... Uh, well, the reservoir in the, in, the, in, the, in the box itself really doesn't have that much fluid. Four and, tires first, Kyle, then come back and look at it. You know, and, and if you think about They're it... They're not going to let us leave, Richie. Hey, let's look at it first. No tires. Open the hood. Open the hood. Up pit road, the big question is the 51. Race leader with problems with power steering. Did you notice what Kyle said when Richie said, let's change four tires and we'll come back and look at it? Kyle very calmly said... They're not going to let us go back out, Richie. So then Richie changed the call, said, hey, let's check the power steering over. Then we'll come back and get the Ford tires. So what a heads-up move by Kyle. He's doing a whole lot more than just wheeling that thing. He's thinking, too. Well, and, you know, they've had some power steering trouble, so he thinks that's what it is. But they need to get under there and look and make sure of what, it, of what is going on uh, up under the hood. Hey, let's and try to get... We're going to put a tranny in it. Yeah, it's a transmission. I didn't... Yeah. You know, you can't just have... Power steering failure after power steering failure after power. When your when your when your brain tells you we've had power steering trouble before, it's got to be power steering again. But uh, in this case, he's backing down pit road, which is not the best decision, I don't think. That's Especially gonna, with all the yeah, lap down trucks coming down. Ooh, wow! Very close for Justin Marks. That was a good move by Justin. He had to get in his box. Kyle Busch continuing to try to get to the opening, which he needs to go a couple more spots back to get to that opening. Now he'll go forward and right through the opening up into the garage area. I was going to be surprised if they could have kept having the same problem over, over and over. And, over again, huh? and they've decided it's a transmission leak or issue that they have. So Kyle Busch doesn't look like he will win at Dover today. He relinquishes the top spot to run Hornaday. Matt Kraft and Jack Sprague, Johnny Benson and Mike Skinner, your top five.